new phone who dis it is the 30th of november i'm testing out this pixel 7a that i just got don't know how it's going to work it seems pretty nice uh i'm choked with gold so sorry for any additional sound effects that you might get but yeah um as some of my fellow jockeys will know today is saint andrew's day it's the patron saint day of scotland which means functionally very little up here uh, we don't really celebrate or anything. I suppose there are some Kayleys going on if you're in Edinburgh or Glasgow. Uh, not really my thing. But what we do tend to do, uh, more often than not, is eat haggis. Some folk are quite funny about haggis. I know you can't get it everywhere. Um, heart, liver, lungs of the sheep. And I think the lungs thing is where a lot of countries fall down. Uh, and other people are just weird about awful. And if you're one of them, sort yourself out, really. Awful's fantastic. But, uh, yeah, a few years ago, I don't even really know why I started making this. I can't remember why I came up with it, if we just couldn't get it. It's in the supermarkets normally here, most of the year, to be honest. Um, but what I'm going to do is show you a quick thing that I tend to make up for dinner pretty often at this time of year. Um, haggis spicing, and I'm using just standard lamb mince. Um, and it's our dinner. So, right, here we go. Yeah, so this is just frozen lamb mince, picked up in Sainsbury's earlier, £4 something, £4.20, £4.70, something along that. It's under a fiver anyway, uh, and that's half a kilo. Uh, this will do certainly two big portions, three or four, um, and I'm going to pad it out a bit. Uh, now, these are neeps. Um, here in Scotland, we call this turnip. Most of the rest of the world calls it a Swede or a Swedish turnip um, or rutabaga. So that's that one. It's the yellowy one. Don't use the white one. Doesn't work. Um, I've got about 400 grams of that, probably. It was just under half a kilo and then I peeled it. Um, it doesn't really matter. This is just dinner. You know, I've probably got half the same again of carrot and I've got a medium onion. The thing with haggis, it's all in spicing. Um, so I'm saying I'm a lot tonight. Yeah, okay. I'm using two to one here. That's roughly two heaped teaspoons of nutmeg, one of mace. Mace is pretty important. Uh, it's a very kind of Christmassy, very traditional spice. And it's the thing that grows around the outside of the nutmeg, kind of the shell. A little bit funkier. It's kind of like white pepper to black pepper in a way, I think. Um, so it's a lighter flavour, but it is a different flavour. So if you can get that, that's great. I add coriander to mine. It's not necessarily found in all of them, uh, but I do quite like it. And then I've got a mixture of black and white pepper. I'm going to add more of that as a go. Um, and some beef stock. And that's kind of it. Uh, it's not particularly complicated. And I'm just going to make dinner. So, okay. Okay, so I've got a good tablespoon, tablespoon a bit of beef dripping going in there. Uh, again, look, there's nothing traditional here. I use a lot of dripping and stuff. We use a lot of animal fats. If you want to use olive oil or sunflower oil or whatever, go for it, you know. Really, just to give you an idea. So that's one medium onion going in. And we're just going to give that a start. Give it a couple of minutes and then I'll get the meat going. Okay, so this stuff cooks some frozen. It's been sitting out for a wee while. So I'm just going to give that a mix. And hope you can hear me over the hob. But aye, St Andrew's Day, it's a funny one here, because um, we're kind of, obviously we're at the end of November. And then in a month's time you've got Hugmanay, or New Year's Eve. And that tends to be the big kind of shindig here in Scotland, if you're so inclined. And then, end of January, you've got Burns Night, and that again, certainly kind of around Central Belt, Rollins, whatever. That is where people get together, have their big dinners... You know, we have the massive haggis and all the rest of it. So, the Saints Day is it's a funny one. Uh, I remember years ago they used to put kind of, oh, Kayleys and that kind of thing, live bands and so on on TV. I don't even know if they're still doing it anymore, to be honest. I think there were kind of marching bands in Edinburgh and so on. Um, but we're going back a few years now. And I, I think because as well, Scotland's a bit of a funny country. Because until... I think it was 58, 1958 I think it was, uh, Christmas Day wasn't a public holiday here because we're a bunch of miserable Presbyterian bastards if you go back kind of there. Uh, so 
everything was all about kind of New Year in Hogmanay. Um, and so, yeah, the St Andrews does kind of get forgotten a wee bit. But anyway, uh, that's melted me down really quickly. And I want to get some colour on that. So, back in a minute. Right, that's had a few minutes. Uh, the onions are starting to soften. We've got a wee bit of colour on the lamb. There's actually not that much water that comes out of this. It's normally pretty good, which is nice. And I have just remembered that this pot, it is a good one, it's just not a key one. Uh, but it's got basically zero heat insulation on the handles, which is not a problem apart from, um, as usual, reaching around the tripod. I haven't figured that one out yet. But hey, okay, let's get the spices in. Uh, so we're going in with nutmeg, mace, come back for that, coriander, excuse me, and a pepper. Sorry about the sniffing. Right, um, I'm not adding any salt to this yet because I'm going to go in with the stock and then we'll go from there. I know for a fact it's going to need salt, it's going to need more uh, pepper as well, but just for the moment I'm going to fry these off for a couple minutes. Just let it all mingle a wee bit. Mud in the veg. Oh hell, that would do. Okay, there's uh, the neeps going in. And there's the carrot. So, yeah, quite often the uh, haggis is served with. Um, what is it called? Bash tatties and champet neeps, which is basically just mashed potato and then the turnips mashed separately with a bit of butter. Uh, or there's also th something called clap shot, which I want to say it's Orkney that's from. It's up north, certainly. Um, and that's how you offend an Orcadian by saying that they're from up north and not from Orkney. But aye, um, that's basically just mashed potato and the turnip mashed together, uh, which is very nice. But for this, like I said, I've been making it for years, I find just let it all go in a pot. You get very similar flavours. Uh, and that's it, really. So I've got 500ml of beef stock, what I have just made. And I'm just going to get that in. This is not complicated. Um... You want to go and make your own beef stock? Go for your life. I do have bones in the freezer. I just haven't gotten round to that. I made some lamb stock the other week. That came over. Uh, I like these guys. If you're in the UK, pretty good. Not too salty. They do one with no salt at all, which is fine. If you're so inclined, I'm not. You know. But uh, yeah, all I'm going to do now, bring this up to a bubble. And just let it simmer away. And... It's probably going to be, I don't know, half hour or something. So that's your lot. Back in a few. It has been a nearly 50 minutes now. Uh, I've had a sneezing fit. The dog has been out for a pee. It's all go here. But I, uh, I'll let this go for first 15 minutes or so with the lid on and then took it off. And you can see it, uh, you can see what it is. Look, this is basically just a stew. I have, right enough, I've added. Uh, salt to it. Now I put in a good teaspoon, gave it a mix and I was trying to do it with just the normal herbs and spices and blah. And then I thought no, sod it, I'm going to cook this the way I cook at home. So, uh, there you go, Old Faithful. That's the, the white pepper. Slap your mama. You don't need that. Doesn't matter, you know. Um, add a bit of cayenne if you want it. Add white pepper, add black pepper. Definitely needed a bit more. What I wasn't expecting was I don't normally cook it with carrots um, in I would normally kind of boil them separately, but I thought I'd sort of chuck them in tonight. They have added a lot of sweetness, um, and I think you need a wee bit more salt and a wee bit more spice to balance that. So I just just play around with it. Um, this is in no way, shape or form haggis, but you are getting similar kind of flavours off it. I think because, look, it's, it's lamb and nutmeg, ultimately. Um, lamb, nutmeg, if you've got mace, brilliant, use that. Um, white pepper I think makes a big difference but certainly black pepper and if you want to go with coriander and stuff you know I've had it with ginger before um, I've had one that had a bit of allspice in it which was a wee bit weird but it was okay don't
go down the cinnamon route, it doesn't work. I Well, for my palate, anyway, it doesn't work. Um, but yeah, it's not bad. I'm going to let this go a wee bit longer now. We're pretty much there, and I am not too proud to say I'm going to be doing this tonight uh, with some of the Idahoan instant perfect mash buttery flavours. So it's brilliant, that stuff, man. It's like... We've got this weird thing in the UK, I think, because we've got these kind of hangovers from the 70s and the 80s about uh, smash, instant mashed potato, which was pretty rank, uh, certainly when a lot of us were children. You know, you hear instant mash, you go, ooh, no. But aye, that stuff's pretty good. Now, I've got a tub of smash in the cupboard, and I'm told these days it's also pretty good, so I'll try that at some point. Um, but yeah, well, you've not got the liver in here, you've not got the iron off that. Um, I've used beef stock. You can use lamb stock if you want, if you can get it. Uh, or sort of lamb stock cubes. These days, haggis is normally put in a beef bung, which is it's a bit of the beef intestine. So because it is, it's a it's a boiled pudding and it? it's kind of a big sausage. Um, but yeah, use lamb, and it's occurred to me as well. I've never done it, but I'm going to try it. Um, kind of do the opposite, so I can see this working. You'll get something interesting certainly if you use like a twenty percent beef. Oh, 20, sorry, yeah, beef mince, kind of 20% fat, but use lamb stock. Um, I like mixed stocks in my cooking. You, you get different kind of flavour profiles, but uh, aye. Right. Aye, right, there we go. Um, that's it. I have made the Idaho mash. Uh, that's the way it looks in the UK, certainly right now. Um, I think it says 475 boiling water for me. That comes out very wet, so... I chuck in about, I don't know, 25, 30 grams of butter or something, and then about 400 ml of water. Uh, melt the butter and beat the hell out of it with a whisk. Comes up pretty well. And yeah, um, this is our dinner. There you go. It tastes a wee bit like haggis. It's not exactly like haggis. It's definitely not haggis, but, you know, it's all right. Um, my missus swears by daddy's. Um, it is a very good sauce, if you want it. And I'm absolutely not offended that she puts on everything that I make or anything. No, no, not at all. Right, uh, I feel like I should be saying Slangeva, but I'm pretty sure that's just for drinks. I don't have the garlic. I don't know. Um, but yeah, all right, try this. It's no bad. Cheers. <laughs>